When I was younger, my parents would wax lyrical about their trips to WA. Not the whale sharks or the golden outback. No, for them, it was the greatest botanic show on earth. They never took me, and now I'm old enough to take myself. Where to start? Just follow the signs. Wildflower country is known for its great road trips and two and a half hours out of Perth, Dalwollinu is the starting point for the Wildflower Way. Smack bang in the middle of wheat country, it's a pretty little town, with the side hustle guiding thousands of wildflower lovers who flock here from August to October. Christy is one of the local flower enthusiasts with all the tips and tricks at Dalwollinu Discovery Centre. What she has forgotten about wildflowers in this region is more than most of us will ever know. Christy, I noticed a lot of everlastings on the drive into town, but what is Del Wallenu really known for in terms of wildflowers? We have a good variety of orchids, everlastings, etc., through our shire, but we are well known for wattles. We have 80 species Whoa. within our shire, um, and we're the highest density in over the world. They celebrate it by having an annual water week in September. Oh, fantastic. I'll have to come back for that. Now, if I had a couple of days, what would you recommend I do? I would probably follow the wildflower way. I'd head across to Karoo, where they've got the community farm. They have some donkey orchids out there, apparently. Um, I'd head up to Minganu um, and through to Geraldton, and then I'd follow the eastern route back to Dalwollinu, Mullawar, Morawa Perendry, yep. um, but I would stop at Coliseum Conservation Park. That was really good last year. Oh, fantastic. That sounds like a plan. But if I've only got a day, what should I do? I would head out to Petrador Rocks, yep. which is a lovely reserve with a big granite rock and a few freshwater rock holes. Um, and there's a good variety of orchids out there as well. What a great location. And there are granite outcrops like this all over the district to explore. Keep your eyes on the ground as you walk. The terrestrial orchids are some of the first buds of colour, like these blue beards hidden amongst the brush. There's climbing sundews, flat sundews, and in the weeks to come, it's only going to get better. This rock will be covered in a profusion of colour. Look at this, an early blossoming of those amazing everlastings. This is my first taste of the legendary wildflowers of WA. There is nothing quite like this on the East Coast. I've been hearing about it for years, and now I understand why people make this incredible pilgrimage. <laughs>